Your local election headquarters tracking night two of the Democratic National Convention. The headliners, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. President Obama focusing on the state of the nation right now. This will still be a tight race in a closely divided country. A country where too many Americans are still struggling. Where a lot of Americans don't believe government can help. And as we gather here tonight, the people who will decide this election are asking a very simple question. Who will fight for me? Kayla Fish joins us with a breakdown, including what Rhode Islanders are saying on day two. Kayla? Well, Shannon and Mike, the Obamas certainly electrified the crowd. You'll hear more from them in just a moment. Rhode Island may be a small state, but its delegates also brought some big energy to the DNC. Lawmakers on the ground there tell us they feel unified and energized, which was certainly on display tonight. House Speaker Joe Shikarchi and Rhode Island's delegates showing their enthusiasm during the ceremonial roll call to make Kamala Harris the Democratic Party's presidential nominee. The deep blue ocean state is proud to cast one vote present and 34 ballots for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. We spoke with Shikarchi ahead of the roll call vote about Joe Biden passing the torch to Harris. He called it the right decision. I don't think anyone questions that Joe Biden has the ability to do the job and is doing it well and has had, you know, a lot of success. I think people were concerned about his ability to do it for the next four years beyond this election. I think he's removed that and I think we have re-energized the party and I think it's good for the Democratic Party but it's also good for the country. 12 News also caught up with Congressman Seth Magaziner on the ground in Chicago. Rhode Island, we always punch above our weight, right? And so we've got a, uh, a terrific group here representing our state and again in a real spirit of unity. The theme of Tuesday's program, a bold vision for America's future with former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama scheduled to cap off the night. Kamala Harris is more than ready for this moment. We have a chance to elect someone who has spent her entire life trying to give people the same chances America gave her. Someone who sees you and hears you and will get up every single day and fight for you. Now, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls weren't there tonight. They're actually holding a campaign rally in the battleground state of Wisconsin. Live in studio tonight, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.